So I've made it to the lake. I'm gonna be fishing this morning with my buddy out on his boat. And I've only fished here one other time and I don't really remember, how would, how did we do again? All right, we didn't do good. I caught uh, one thing small. So last time I was here, we didn't do that well. I caught one pickerel and one largemouth. Decided what the heck, why not come back and try it again? And I brought seven different rods with me. Now I'm not gonna go over all the rods with me right now. I will go over them as I use them. But I'm going to be starting off this morning with a little drop shot. I have a small little finesse wide gap hook here to a medium light St. Croix Premier rod with a Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus 2500. And I'm going to be using 8 pound line. How do you know top water doesn't work? We just got here. How do you know top water doesn't work? We just got here. Do you think he's gonna go around that corner right in front of us? Maybe it's just a no wake zone right now. I'm gonna be rather annoyed if he literally goes right in front of us. There's plenty of lake for this one. Yo, and I literally was talking about that point. You know, there's nothing more sad than an old person that's a fool. <laughs> and I'm using a little quarter ounce drop shot weight here. I brought a few drop shot baits with me. I brought a TRD tubes from Z-Man. Just a tiny little uh, tube bait. And then I brought a bomb shot from Missile Baits. Just in straight black color. And then what I think I'm gonna start off with is this two inch, no, three inch has a dong shad. And I'm just gonna be kind of sticking it through the head of the bait, kind of like this. That's gonna give this bait a lot of kind of free motion. Nice. All right, so all rigged up, ready to go. And I nose hooked this little Hazadong Shad. Just so it has a little bit of free movement down here. And I'm just gonna be dragging this along the bottom. Nothing too fancy. Got him. What a way to I'm not sure. <laughs> Dude, as soon as you got hit, I felt the uh, <laughs> weight. <laughs> nice. Little double up. He and <laughs> dude, he inhaled it. The same. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, yeah. The camera's got it off. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> That's how I just felt doink, 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 and then I kept waiting. Yeah. And then I just kind of. Running, so I'm like, all right, now feels like a good time. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't feel anything. I just, all of a sudden, it was heavy. So I'm like, oh, that could be a fish. So I just set my hook, and sure enough, got him. 
<laughs> Are you right in that area? No, oh, I needed that. Oh, that was a good boy. Yeah. All right, back to back casts. Little male. Same spot too. I'm fishing a little bit of offshore in deeper water. The package I'm using. The color is Sight Chartreuse. Oh God. And I think this color unintentionally is gonna be working really good today just because the water is a little bit more dirty than I anticipated. Did I go through the story of uh, one of the retired army veterans that didn't allow one of the terrorists on the plane because he had a bad feeling about him? No, it didn't do uh, that at all. No, why? What plane? So are you telling me there should have been five? Because I know there was four planes that got hijacked. Uh, no, there was four planes with five terrorists in each plane, but one plane had four. Is that the one that got overrun too? Yeah. Got him. Good one? I don't think so. Maybe a pound and a half here? No. No. That? Dude, it's a giant. It's a giant. Is that a tuna? On the small hook, too. It's a small mouth. Hey, there is small hook in here. There is. That? No, but I am going to go down and lip it because I don't want my weight to, uh, fly around everywhere. I'm just gonna flip up. I didn't want to, so I didn't want to tangle my weight, but. But uh, perfect, this tiny little hook just pricked him <laughs> in the roof of the mouth. He's already unhooked. But uh, the biggest fish today is a smallmouth. That's pretty cool and he fought super hard. All right, so we made it to a kind of shallow, really weedy area with a bunch of lily pads and grass. So I'm going to be switching over from the drop shot from the Whopper Plopper for just a little bit. Ooh, this reel sounds great. I wonder uh, where my buddy's buddy caught those five pounders. No. But he probably fished it. God! On the wall plop? Yep. Yep. It did feel nice. And it's skiing across the top of the water. I'll take it though. Nice. Alright, whopper plopper gets it done. Little bass, maybe about half of a pound. And the cool thing about this Hazadong Shad, and I call it Hazadong just because that's the way the people I watch pronounce it. I got made fun of for that in my last video, but 
I don't know. I think Hazadong sounds funnier. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying that. <laughs> and it has its own scent too. I'm not sure if it's squid scented or not, but it has its own kind of dead fishy smell. Kayaker. Hmm. AMC is up today. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Dude, I'm using a super small hook. <laughs> and the thing too was like it hooked him perfectly in the mouth. Like that's how small of a hook I'm using. <laughs> Did you cast by that tube? Well, watch this, dude. You gotta always fish tubes. When you see tubes, fish them. I think so. That's what I say. No. <laughs> Oh my area. god, dude, it is deep. It's got to be 15 feet, 15, 16 feet by that tube. Ooh, 17. Ooh, Whoa. damn it. <laughs> what? Um, I don't know. I just felt like I was kind of addicted to him. Yeah, I've been trying to stop that. Though. Yeah, so I quit cold turkey. And honestly, I was just as tired as I was like, God, oh dude, that might be a nice one. Nah, I think he just is a fighter. He's not very big. But my, dude, my hook is so tiny. No, I need that. Right in the corner of the mouth with that tiny little hook. Perfect. I have five. One small mouth and then four small large mouth. It's definitely shallow in between these islands. Yeah, we're at six. Good or bad. Yeah, I don't really know either. Ooh. Got him. I might need it. On the drop shot. Little guy. I'm plenty confident. Watch and learn. Got him. Told ya. Large mouth. Damn. He was not gonna get a huff. But tiny little thing. Well, I'm back at my apartment, and that video was actually shot three days ago, and I realized I forgot to do an outro. And overall, I thought I did pretty good. I've only ever fished that lake twice. And to catch that many bass was pretty good in my opinion. Now all the bass I caught minus that one on the Whopper Plopper came on the Mega Bass Hazadong Shad in the 3 inch size. Now I don't have any more of the color I used that day 
but this is just a bigger representation of what I use. This is the 4.2 inch instead of the 3 inch I used. A Hazadong Shed, it just comes in a different package. This is the saltwater edition, and the saltwater edition is the same exact thing as like the regular Hazadong Shed, but it's just the colors are slightly different. Now this swim bait has incredible action for being so tiny, and I just love those little eyeballs that Mega Bass puts on the bait. The only downside to having so much action in this little bait is that durability is not the best. But in my opinion, it's kind of like a trade-off. The more durability you have, the less action the bait is going to have, in my unprofessional opinion. And another thing too is, I don't really use the drop shot very much. That was only like maybe the fifth time I've ever used a drop shot in my life. So to catch that many fish on the drop shot really upped my confidence in the drop shot a little bit. Plus, I believe I only dumped one fish that entire day. And the hook I was using were these size 2 mosquito hooks from Owner compared to my finger. Definitely probably one of the smallest hooks I use, but it, it got the job done. No issues in my opinion. Then I was using a quarter ounce drop shot weight. Now I could have dropped down to an eighth of an ounce if I wanted to, but my main goal was to kind of target that 15 to 20 ish feet. So I really wanted that quarter of an ounce to get right to the bottom. And I really wanted to have like that direct contact feel with my bait. And in the next video, I'm going to be announcing the winner of my last giveaway. I'm gonna be announcing the winner of this limited edition Mega Bass Vision 110 Junior. And I do these every single month. So if I don't pick you, don't feel that bad because I'm gonna be doing it again. But that is it for today's video. I come out with videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.